Young high school football players, if you want a scholarship, you're going to have to study the field. We're talking about it today on the Gridiron Stud Show. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Recruiting advice for everyone. It's the Gridiron Stud Show. I'm Chad Wilson, owner of GridironStuds.com and the Gridiron Studs app. We talk college football recruiting here and try to help prospects all over in their recruiting process. So what we're talking about today is studying the field when you're out there trying to get yourself a college football scholarship offer. I'm here to tell you guys, if you don't already know, it is getting more and more difficult for junior college and high school football players to get college football scholarships. We can thank the transfer portal for that. Colleges are going to the transfer portal first before they go to the high schools to try and find guys to fill out their rosters. Why? That's not really the topic, but I will just say this. All of the college football coaches out there are facing some kind of pressure to win right now, and what better for them to accomplish that goal than to grab a guy that's already in college. This being the case, nothing we can do about that. Can do is make yourself a better high school football prospect so you fall into the crowd of people that will actually get recruited and get scholarships and Set of guys that have a sad face on both of the signing days. So today I'm going to talk to you about that and some ways that you can help yourself in getting yourself into that group that we all want to be in. So in other words, study is in this topic that we're talking about today. So that might turn some of you off when you hear studying. It tends to be a negative word when you're in high school. Yeah, study for the math test, for the science test, all that. You got tests all the time. Got to study, study, study. Well, the reason you study is you want to be able to pass those tests and get the good grades. Got good news news and bad news for you. You can apply that study principle that you have in the classroom to your college football recruiting, then you have stand a good chance of passing the college football recruiting test. And what do I mean by that? That means that puts you in a better position to set yourself up for a college football scholarship because you're watching this video for that reason. So what do I mean by studying? Obviously you have the group of schools that you would like to or you'd be interested in attending. One of the first things you need to do is take a look at the kind of players that they recruit. Go look at previous recruiting classes. Check out the guys that they have recruited at the position that you play. A lot of schools have a certain specific type of player that they like to recruit. For example, some places want six foot plus wide receivers. Do you fit that mold? That's the kind of stuff you need to understand. And in looking at those previous classes, do they have a guy there that looks like you that has been successful? So using the same example for wide receivers, if you're not necessarily a six plus, six foot plus guy and you happen to be five, nine or five, ten, When you've looked through those recruiting classes, have they had a guy that size be successful for them on the field? If they have, good. Go ahead and kind of set your sights on that school because you can always refer to and they will themselves refer to that guy that looked like you that was successful on the field. So in their mind, they see a guy like you and know that it's possible for him to have some success. If they have not had a guy like that, I want you to understand that you could be kind of trying to fit a square peg in a round hole and there are going to be some chances for you hardcore pursuing that school if they have not had a guy that looks like you that has been successful on the field. Once again, all of these colleges are under pressure to win. So it's less likely that they're going to take a chance on certain prospects and bringing them in because there is a limited amount of roster spots and it's difficult for them to take chances on a whole bunch of guys or just any guys in general if they're under a whole lot of pressure to win. So they kind of want to go with what has been successful for them in the past. So study those previous recruits classes study the guys that they're recruiting right now if they have guys in those classes that kind of fit your mold and look like you then you're good if not you might want to start thinking about alternative plans because it's going to be quite a hill to climb for you to convince them that a guy like you who has never really come through the program and been successful before will one of the other things I think is really good for prospects to do is study those top recruiting lists the top 100 250 at rivals or 247 sports or ESPN or any Anyone else that keeps those kind of lists, go in there, look at the position that you play, kind of look at the attributes of the guys in those lists so you have an idea of what it is the schools are looking for. And I'm not just talking about those top schools that recruit out of those top 100 lists. I'm telling you that what's in that top 100, 250 list is what all of the schools really desire. Now, we know only a handful of those schools that are out there are going to be able to grab a majority of those guys. But outside of that, this is what all the schools are really trying to 
recruit those type of players. So it may not be the guys that are actually in that list that some of these other schools are going to be able to get, but the attributes that you see for some of those players are what these schools are trying to get. So they want six foot five defensive ends. They want the left tackle to be a six foot six guy, or they want six foot one corners. If you don't fit those dimensions, that doesn't mean you can't play there. Just know exactly what it is you're up against. So one of the easiest things for you to do is log on to your computer or even do it on your phone. Go in there, take a look at those lists, put your position in there and kind of get an idea of what it is these schools are looking for. Can't really do anything about your height and maybe some of these other things, but it's good for you to have a working knowledge of what it is schools are trying to recruit. Now you can go about formulating a game plan of trying to get on these schools' radar. We could talk more about those things you need to do if you don't exactly fit some of those attributes and dimensions, but it's good to know what those things are. So go study those rivals in 247 top list. And while we're talking about attributes, I don't just mean height, don't just mean weight. Yes, obviously those things are important. I'm not here to try and fool you. We're not here to try and fool ourselves and say that they don't matter. Yes, they do matter. All right. And you know, to a certain degree, guys, they probably should matter. If you're playing basketball, you want to have a guy that's close to seven feet as a center. It's just going to work better for you. That's just the way that it is. There's no way around that. However, I'm not just talking about height and weight. So you might need to dig a little deeper as you're doing that research. Perhaps you aren't the height of some of these other guys that are playing your position, but what's their speed like? How strong are these guys? These are areas where you have a little bit more control. You can work a little harder in that weight room to get that kind of strength and get stronger than those guys that might be taller than you. You certainly can go out and run track or get with a speed trainer and really work on your speed and be faster than some of those guys who are taller than you. If you're faster than them, that kind of, you know, might put you in their category. If you're an inch or two shorter than the guys that they typically want to go after, if you're faster than them, if you're a tenth or two faster, you can kind of slide yourself into that category. So don't just look at the height and weight and cancel yourself out. You can go dig a little deeper and let's find out how fast these guys are, how strong they are in the weight room. Of course, we look at all the other attributes through looking through film study, but don't just be out here blind. Go do that research. Find out their attributes. Watch their film. Watch how they play on film. Do you match up to that? Don't just get caught up in the height and weight. The other area where you can do some studying is with the off-season camps. If you're lucky enough to be invited to them, go to those camps. Don't just be out there blind. Pay attention. Take a look at the guys who are being heavily recruited. What kind of attributes do they present? What are they bringing to the table? Now that you're up close and personal with them and you're not just looking at their highlight video or seeing the list of their attributes on a computer screen, you're up close and personal. Let's observe some other things. What kind of leadership skills do they exhibit? How competitive are they? How good are they with their technique? Go ahead and study all those things and understand now what it is you're going to need to at least get on their level and then try to surpass them. Please take note of all those things. When you go to the camps, don't just be out. Yes, I understand that you want to have a great performance and you definitely need to go do that, but study. Spend a little time paying attention to what some of these other guys look like doing and how they present themselves. And like I said, it's the guys that are highly recruited. Notice some of the little intangibles that they bring to the table outside of their height and weight. I know you are going to see some big time guys that aren't really great players, but try and notice some of the other things that they may do that may make them worthy of that scholarship, right? Don't just look at them and be like, oh, this guy sucks. He can't play. Well, what is it outside of the height and weight that they are bringing to the table that might make an Ohio State or a Michigan say that they're going to recruit this guy? Don't turn a blind eye to that. Sometimes you can get some pretty good information. If you now can turn around and implement that into your game and into the way that you move, you might get yourself on the radar of some schools that you may not have otherwise been able to. And this final one is for you younger guys. Unfortunately, sometimes you just don't get invited to the camp. Here's what you don't do. Don't sit at home and sulk. This takes a, a lot of character. It takes a lot of, you know, courage. And also you're going to need to drop your ego to do this. But even though you weren't invited to the camp, go to the camp if you're an underclassman. Go sit in, that, in those stands and observe things. And if you're able to get a little closer, watch, pay attention, go hang close to where your position group is, watch how things go, watch and see what the drills are, see how the coach instructs them, kind of learn from the guys that are doing well and the guys who aren't doing so well. Your next year comes around and you're invited to that camp, now you're not flying blind. You've seen how the camp works, you understand how the coaching goes, you understand the whole entire process. And like I also try to tell guys in some of my other videos, hey, go over there and network, make some connections, go talk to guys that are into the recruiting, go talk to a rivals or 247 reporter if you can. Talk to some of the local coaches. Even spend some time talking to the guys who are highly recruited. Get some tips from them. But really, really study the camp. You're not going to learn anything 
or improve yourself sitting at the house sulking about the fact that you weren't invited and how guys that you're better than got invited to the camp and you weren't invited to the camp. It is what it is. Let's make the best of that situation. Go attend the camp, look and learn and pick up as much as possible so that when it's your turn, you already have a feel for how things are and you can look better than those guys that were invited last year. It's all about doing your part and looking better than the next guy. And the more information you can gather from these camps, the better off you will be when you actually get that invite and you show up. Trust me, it's going to be an easier process for you if you follow that. At the end of the day, there are a bunch of guys vying for those same college football scholarship offers that you're going for. A million guys, literally a million guys play high school football every year and a majority of them would like to play college football. So there are a bunch of guys going for those spots that you are going for. If you don't want to do the research, you don't study, put yourself at a disadvantage because what you're not willing to do, another guy is willing to do. And if it comes down to it and it's even between you and another guy, the guy that put the time in and put the work in and studied is going to get that spot over you. So do your due diligence, do the studying, do the things that I talked about in this video and you put yourself in a much better position when your time comes. I'm really, really talking to my freshmen and sophomores out there, but if you're a guy that's a junior or a guy going into your senior year, you can follow these as well. But to my freshmen and sophomores that are listening to this video or parents of freshmen and sophomores or guys even younger listening to this video, it's super important that you don't wait until that junior going into your senior year to start listening to things like this and doing the things that I said. The earlier you do it, the more you get into this mode, the smoother things will be in your recruiting and you'll be a whole lot happier when December or February comes around that senior year because you'll have a place to go. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already on your way out. And of course, you should be on the Gridiron Studs app. If you're not on it, hit the link in the description down below. Join right now, download the app, join, create a profile, completely fill it out, put your video on there. We've got college football coaches and fans all over that app looking for guys, looking for prospects to add to their prospect list as well as to their recruiting classes. Why not you? If you're not out there, if you're not being seen, then how are you going to get that scholarship? All right. So don't forget those things. And thank you guys for watching. Gridiron Studs, BC.